In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Power BI, even if you're a complete beginner, in less than 10 minutes. Hey, it's Brandon Michaels, and in this channel, I help you grow your business by leveling up your skills. Today, we'll learn how to create a report using Microsoft Power BI Desktop, the same software I use with my clients to help them analyze their data. I'm going to show you how to download and install Power BI, how to connect to your data and load it into Power BI, how to use your data to create a report, how to save your report, and finally, we'll look at a couple ways you can share your Power BI report with others. Our first step is to download and install Power BI Desktop. To do that, go to your Windows search, type in Store, click on Microsoft Store, and at the top of the screen in the search box, type Power BI Desktop, and click on the result. And then just click on the blue Install button. Now, while this is downloading, Let's take a look at our data. To create a report in Power BI, we need to load in some data. Imagine you're a freelancer and you're tracking all of your expenses in this Excel spreadsheet. We have our date field, type of expense, the cost of each expense, the payment method, and then a few other columns here with some additional details. So this is the data we're gonna load into Power BI to create a report. I've included a link in the description below so you can download the data file and work along with this video. Let's check to see if Power BI is finished downloading. Power BI did finish downloading, so all we have to do is click on the Open button. And the first thing we see when Power BI opens is the title screen. We won't be using anything on this screen today, so we can click the X to close out. And now we can see that Power BI is prompting us to add data to our report. Below are a few shortcuts. We could use the Import from Data Excel shortcut, or we could go up to the Data section of the ribbon bar and choose Excel Workbook. Find our file and click Open. In this window, Power BI is showing us the contents of our Excel file. Our Excel file only has one worksheet that's called Expenses. So click on Expenses, and then to the right, Power BI will show us a preview of our data. Below that, we have two options, Load and Transform Data. Transform allows us to edit our data before we bring it into Power BI. So if we just take a quick look at the data, I noticed a few issues. One, under Expenses, all of them are spelled out completely except for health insurance. So I'd like to fix that. Also under our payment method, Every time we have credit card, it's followed by the last four digits, and I'd like to clean that up. So we know that we need to edit our data, so let's choose Transform Data. And Power BI opens a new window. This is called the Power Query Editor. Power Query Editor is a component of Power BI that allows us to edit our data. It's one of my favorite parts of Power BI because there are so many tools that allow us to edit our data and make it really easy. So let's go to our Expense column, and in order to fix these abbreviations, we're going to right-click on the column header and then choose Replace Values. And this is just a search and replace. From the top, we'll type in the abbreviation, and the bottom, what we want to replace it with, and click OK. And now we can see that Power BI replaced all the abbreviations with the fully spelled out health insurance. Next, let's go to our payment method column. Here we want to split off the last four digits wherever we have a credit card. Again, we're going to right click on the column header, and this time we're going to choose split column. And because we have words followed by numbers, we're going to choose the last option here by non-digit to digit. And as you can see, Power BI now split off the digits into a separate column. So now we have our credit card over here with no digits. Over to the right, we have four columns that we're not going to use for our report. So let's remove those columns. Up at the top, we're going to click Choose Columns, and then just uncheck the boxes next to the columns that we're not going to use. And click OK. And then let's rename this back to Payment Method. So double-click on the column header and just edit that to read payment method and click enter. And let's scroll through our data now just to make sure there's nothing else that we want to change. I do see one more issue at the bottom. We have a row here that includes a total from the Excel spreadsheet. For Power BI, we only want to bring in the raw data. So let's remove this bottom row. So up at the top, we'll choose remove rows, remove bottom rows. And since we only want to move the last row, click one and click okay. Now we're ready to load our data into Power BI. To do that, in the upper left, click Close and Apply. And over to the far right, now we can see the data that we just loaded in. If we expand that, we can now see the Cost, Date, Expense, and Payment Methods field. For our first chart, let's do a Cost by Month chart. This will show us how much we're spending per month. To do that, just click Cost, and then under Date, Expand Date. And what Power BI does with dates is it creates what's called a date hierarchy that splits the date into different periods. So here we can see year, quarter, month, and day. We're going to choose month. And over to the left, now we see that Power BI has created a column chart showing our cost by month. Let's drag that down. 
and then drag it over. Let's create another chart showing cost by expense. To do that, click on a blank area of the report to make sure the first chart isn't selected, and then just click the cost and expense checkboxes. And here to the left, we'll see that Power BI created another column chart showing how much we spend on each expense type. Let's drag that over and down to the bottom. Let's create another chart showing cost by payment method. Again, click on a blank area of the report, click cost, and then payment method. And for this, let's use a pie chart. To do that, find the pie chart under the list of visualizations. And if you click that, to the left, you can see that Power BI automatically converted that to a pie chart. Let's also convert our cost by expense chart. I think that's easier to read as a bar chart. So click on the cost by expense chart. And over here under visualizations, click on the first icon for the bar chart. And then we can see that Power BI converted that to a bar chart. It would also be helpful to show a total. And for that, we're going to use the card visual. Again, click on a blank area of the report. And then over here to the right, we're going to click on the card visual. That's the icon with the numbers one, two, three. Here to the left, Power BI created a blank card visual. Let's drag that up to the top. Now a card visual only shows a single number. So in order to populate the card, all we need to do is check cost. And we can see now our total cost. Our report is starting to look pretty good, but we can make it even better. To do that, we'll use the format settings. Again, under visualizations, we're gonna click the icon with a paintbrush. And that gives us access to the format settings for each type of chart. Below we can see there are two tabs, visual and general. Under visual are the format settings that are particular to this type of chart. And under general are the format settings that apply to all different types of charts. So go back to visual and under category label, we're gonna turn that off. And now we can see over here that the category label is gone, but we don't wanna leave just a blank number on the chart. So let's add a title to this. If we go into the general tab, under title, click the button to turn it on, expand title, and then under text, type in total expenses. And we can see the Power BI added a title to our card. We can make that look a little bit better. Let's first increase the font size, then center align it. That looks better. Next, let's click on the cost by month chart. And then under visual, we already know that this is a cost by month chart by the title. We don't need the titles for each of the axes. So under X axis, expand that and turn off the title. And let's do the same for the Y axis. And let's also turn on our data labels. We turn those on, we can see in our chart, each of our columns now has a value. And that makes the chart easier to read. For our cost by expense chart, we could go through and change all the same settings. But Power BI gives us a shortcut. With our cost by month chart selected, if we click Format Painter, and then click our cost by expense chart, Power BI automatically applies all the same settings. This is a great time saving feature. If you like this video so far, hit the like button and click subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Now that we've cleaned up our charts, our next step is to be able to filter our data. To do that, click on a blank area of the report, and then under our visualizations, we're gonna look for something called a slicer. And that's this icon here. Click on the slicer, and over to the left, we can see that Power BI created a blank slicer. Let's drag this over to the right of our card and drag it up. A slicer is something that allows us to filter our data. For our report, one way that would be helpful to filter our data is by expense. So over to the right, click on expense. And we can see that our slicer is now filled with a list of all of our expenses. To make this look a little cleaner, click the down arrow and then choose drop down. When we choose a value in the slicer, it affects all of the charts in our report. For example, if we choose subcontract labor, now the charts show only data related to subcontract labor. If we wanna clear our filter, hover over the slicer and click the little eraser icon. And now again, our charts are showing all of our data. If we wanna filter by multiple expense types, we can use the control key. For example, let's say we just wanna see our expenses that are related to our websites. To do that, hold down the control key, click domain name and web hosting. And now our charts display only expenses that relate to domain names and web hosting. And again, to clear that filter, we can click the eraser icon. Let's also add a title to our report. To do that, click a blank area of the report, then click the text box icon. Let's drag that up and over. First, let's make our font size a little bigger. Then click in the text box and type expense summary. And then click on the blank area of the report. Our report is looking pretty good. It's time to save it. To do that, click the save icon in the upper left. And here Power BI gives us two options. We can save as a Power BI file or a Power BI template file. 
Template files save the report design, but don't include the data. For our report, we want to include the data, so we'll stick with the Power BI file type. Just type a file name and click Save. Now that we have our report saved, what if we wanted to share it with someone? If we want to share it with someone who has Power BI Desktop, we can just send them our Power BI file. That's the easiest way, and it's the way I recommend if you're just starting out. We can also export our report as a PDF. To do that, click File, Export, Export to PDF. This will allow you to share your report with anyone. However, it's only a static version, and the person you're sharing your report with won't be able to interact with the report. For example, they won't be able to use the slicers to filter the data. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for my next video, where I'll show you three more ways you can share your Power BI report with others, including how to publish to the web for free. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.